But let me tell you something, and I might as well make this video about the differences between my car and the old uh, SRT8. So if you've got, let me tell you something, if you've got a new SRT8, you've probably been looking at the, um, I mean, if you have an old SRT8, you've probably been looking at the new ones and wondering, you know, whether or not you should trade up. But let me tell you something, this car right here had far better seats than the new 392s. Now, you take a look at the headroom when these seats are sitting straight up. You take a look at this headroom. These seats, you sit in the seat. Like, you see these bolsters? The, the bolsters in this car were so deep that when you sit in these seats, you really, really sit in these seats. And notice the distance between the seat and the floor. Because one thing I've noticed about my car, and I believe it's due to this roof line. The new roof line is so much lower that when you're sitting, even when you have this seat at the highest position, right right now it's, it's almost at the exact highest position it can be. When you're sitting in this car, you can sit very upright if you're a tall guy. But in the new 392s, because the roof line is so much, the, the rake of the roof line is so much more dramatic, and they did that so that it gets better wind resistance. It, it, it has a lower drag coefficient. But the roof line of the new cars makes it look longer. And it makes it harder to sit straight up right. It, it makes it a little harder to sit up right. Now, uh, I've, some people have been telling me, like, yeah, my car looks great. But they think my car is smaller. They think my 392 is smaller than this car. But... They're roughly the same size, and I think that the new ones are slightly wider, but and I think they're also slightly longer. But um, everybody who's seen me in that car, they think that um, my they think that this new car looks smaller than this other car, and I keep trying to tell them it's because of the roof. But uh, yeah, it's basically. The, let me tell you something. If I could take these fucking seats out of this car and drop it in this new 392, believe me, I'd have done it already. Now I, I don't even know if they'd fit in this new car. And the other downside is that these old seats don't have the, the uh, ventilation function in the lower back. But let me tell you something. This car has the best seats I've used, with the exception of my old. S550. The S550 has the absolute best seats on earth. I've I've driven every other car, the Porsche Panamera. I've I've driven a couple of Bentleys and this that and other. That fucking S550 had the absolute best seats ever. S best seats ever. But this car right here is number 2. When it comes to having sports seats, I can't think of a car that has better sports seats than this. And another thing with the new car, I'm a little disappointed that it says SRT but it doesn't say the 8. In the new car. These seats, Chrysler really thought of everything when they made this car. When they made this car right here, they thought of everything. Everything that they could possibly do for 2000, uh, what was it, 2004, 2005, that time frame. Back then, this car, I mean, this car had everything. The Lincoln MKS doesn't have the tilt down automatic mirrors. And uh, most cars, like for instance, that Lincoln MKS, that Lincoln MKS that my uncle got. His does not have uh, the fold-down seats right here. My new car has them. This old car has them. And it's really funny that it's amazing how much stuff this car actually had. You know? But um, right now, it's being sold. Right now, it's got a stock number. Uh, I think that says... Um, I think it says U151906 Chrysler 330. 30132 is must be the last couple of digits of the VIN number. But um this freaking car right here. I don't know who's going to buy this car, but you know, I I had fucked up and put these brand new tires on. <laughs> I wish I could have keep these tires, but I put brand new Eagle GTs on this car. So whoever ends up buying this car has brand new tires, brand new brakes, and uh they got the supercharger in it. So um you know, and they, they have this really cool grill. A lot of people who've seen my videos ask me, you know, where they can get a grill like this. Because this is a really good look for this car. So probably, I think whoever buys it will probably just repaint it. Look at the front of that fucking thing. Look at that thing. That thing's beautiful. That thing's beautiful. Look at the front of that. But they'll, they'll probably have to repaint it because, you know, I had replaced the bumper and I was thinking about painting this car a different color. 
but then I decided against it. I was like, you know what, there's no point in putting a lot of money into an older car when it was a 2006. Had it been like a 2010, I might have considered it. But um, I was going to repaint the bumper, and uh, I was going to put in some more aggressive uh, shocks or whatever. And I said, fuck it, I'll just get a new car and uh, put the uh, Hemi 440 Stroker in it, you know. But um, whoever buys this car, God bless them. In fact, what I should do is leave a note inside and tell them that th how much money this car made me right here on YouTube from videos. But I'm, I'm just saying, man, Chrysler fucking broke the mold when they made this car. And the only, the only thing that bothers me about my new 392 is the goddamn roof line where you ha it's like you just don't have as much headspace. And that's, that's the only thing. Other than that, this car was fantastic absolutely fantastic and I like the way the old wheels look the old rims had so many more spokes that they actually look bigger because some people have asked me are the rims on my new car smaller and I keep telling them no the 20s they're both 20s no matter which SRT you get but for some reason some people think they look smaller and I think it has to do with you know the number of spokes and it's like a it's like a, a optical illusion or something but uh, this was a this was a fucking awesome car right here, you know what? Yeah, that's what it was. But uh, the technology got old, and it was just time to upgrade. So um, you know, I I think I'm gonna leave a note in it for whoever ends up buying it, because I'd like to stay in contact with them. Now, um, with the new SRT8s, my main complaint is what they did to the roof. Now, I understand that they're trying to get higher uh, uh, fuel efficiency through um, reduced wind resistance, but my argument is that, you know, when you're driving a brick, it because this thing is basically the shape of a brick, it, it's like you're, you're dealing with almost like 5,000 pounds worth of iron. What they really need to do to increase uh, fuel efficiency is they need to get some aluminum block engines and make them as powerful as they do these iron blocks. And um, <coughs> I really think that um, this roof, changing the roof was not a great idea. Because the thing about it is, with this new roof line, what happens is, I well, smaller people won't feel it, because I'm like two meters tall. But when you try to sit straight up, what you'll notice is these seats are oddly, these seats are ridiculously flat. And right here, most people's backs are not perfectly shaped like that. So what you end up having is no support right here, and it just falls off into nothing. So when you sit in this seat, you don't really sit in the seat as well as you sit in the other one. Now, while it looks like it has the same amount of headroom as the other, the, the problem is when you sit on these seats, you are not, you don't become one with the seat. That's the old SRT8 had far better seats. And I'll never stop talking about the fact that it doesn't say eight right here. As far as I'm concerned, if you have SRT4, it should say four. If you have a six, it should say six, like the crossfire. And if you have an eight, it should say eight. I don't appreciate them taking that away. But uh, other than that, it's actually weird how long this door suddenly feels. When you open up this door and you're getting out, it feels like this door is a lot longer. It feels like the car has somehow been stretched like in a Photoshop. But that's really my only, that's only, that's my only complaint. I really don't have any other complaints. So, um, the seats and the roof line. But, um, other than that, fantastic car. I've been having fun with the, uh, SRT8, uh, computer, the performance computer. I've been having fun with it. It's a pretty good car. You know, I, a lot of people really, really like the older model more, but, uh, this is fine. This is fine. This will hold me for uh, a little while, so long as nothing else comes out that whets my appetite. It's a sick, vicious car right here. And my boy's got the Jeep SRT8. We're just here at uh, BJ's uh, doing a little bit of shopping. Yeah, so... Uh, should have just had him park right behind me. But we, yeah, that's how we do it, man. It's SRT8 everything. That's how it is. SRT8. Yeah, SRT8 everything. 
If it ain't, if it don't say SRT8, I ain't interested. 